Hi dreamers, welcome back to Dream Tarot. I'm here to do your next 48 reading. If this resonates with you anytime, please make sure you give me a big fat thumbs up. Comment a moon down below for Dream Tarot and subscribe to my channel for your next 48 coming out in a couple days. Keep in mind that this is a general reading, okay guys? This is not a personal reading, so something I say that doesn't resonate with your story could very well resonate with another um, person's story who's watching. So, you know, don't be selfish, share the message, take what resonates, leave what does not, and don't shoot the messenger, okay? Now, if this does resonate with you and you do want to book a personal reading with me. I am doing only emergency personal readings at this time. This just ensures that your reading gets out to you within 24 hours. So you have a short turnaround time and I also have a lot of options for that on my website. You can check that link out in the description box. If you want to follow my Instagram, I have been doing readings on there for you guys and posting um, just motivational quotes and also things to manifest if you're interested in manifestation. So if you want to follow my Instagram, if you have an Instagram, that link will be in the description box. If you want to shop my store, shop any of my crystal um, handmade candles or even um, any of my jewelry, anything that I'm wearing today, that's going to be the first link in the description box for you if you're interested. All right, without further ado, let's get into your reading. Hi, Aqua. All right, let's get into your reading. Okay, so DHL by Frank Ocean is playing. So I'm also, I'm feeling like the pack just came in for you. <laughs> All right, nice. That's nice. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Oh, I almost forgot to do your um, advice cards for the next 48 hours. I almost forgot. All right, the, the signs we're doing today is Sagittarius, Virgo, you, and Gemini. And I might squeeze Leo in. I might squeeze Leo in. I'm not sure. So let's see. What's Aqua's? What's Aqua's um, advice for the next 48 hours, Spirit? Give me some cards. Okay, you got two. Let's see what they say, Aqua. So your first one says, life would be a lot more fun if everyone's middle name was Mother Effin. Okay, so this... This card talks about like just making your days more fun. So maybe you've been really bored the last couple of days or you feel like life is becoming really bleak for you, like it's becoming a routine. So you need to start switching it up, doing something different. You should know out of everybody that, you know, life is what you make it. So why don't you do something different? If life is starting to become like a routine, throw something different into your day that you don't usually do and see how much more happier you would be with that new um, part of your routine. Like just switch things up, do something different, okay? It's that easy, okay? So we have be the change you wish to see up in this B, okay? Up in this bitch, okay? Hey, you, yeah, you, the one who sees what's wrong in the world <laughs> and who knows what the difference between being an activist and being a whiny ass complainer is action, this is piggybacking off the other card. You want the world to be more kind? Kind the F out on people in your life. Hate litter bugs? Pick up some trash. Can't stand judgmental blowhards? Quit judging them for being so judgmental. It's really that. It's really kind of that simple. Oh, God. Not me and the card getting on, on y'all. <laughs> Not me and the card getting in on y'all today. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's get started. Let's get started, Aqua. Let's get started. Let's see what's going on with my Aquariuses for the next 48 hours. Let's see what's going on with my Aquariuses for the next 48 hours, please. Give me some cards. What's going on with my Aqua gang? My Aqua men, Aqua woman. All right, we have the Queen of Pentacles. What else? The Sun card. I just feel like you're so bored. And it's really because you've been working a lot. You Like your money is good, but things are so bored to you right now. Like, you're just so bored. You don't feel like there's anything really special you could do more with your day. You're usually more up at night with the moon card here. So it's like, you know, you don't know where you would have some fun. You've been really focused on being number one. And I'm not saying that like in a rude way. I'm saying like in a good way. Like you've been really maybe one number one to yourself. Okay. If you're like, oh, I, I, I don't really care for number one. But you have been number one lately. Because you're showing up as the King of Wands and also the Six of Wands. So you've been on top lately. But that's even becoming boring. It's like it's, it's boring. Okay. And then you have the Sun card. So it looks like you are going to have a good day. Also looks like It also looks like you're going to get high with the Sun card. Excuse me if that offends some of you guys. Okay. And then we have here the Six of Swords in reverse. 
okay? So something didn't work out, like, hmm. I almost feel like you, okay? I also feel like you're ripping the Band-Aid off or something. Ouch. Or this is like your emotions. Like, I feel like you've healed from something, but you're going to go back down to... <laughs> It's almost as if you healed from something already, but you're going to go back down the rabbit hole. Some of you guys are watching Alice in Wonderland. Some of you guys were Alice in Wonderland or something for Halloween or the Mad Hatter. Like, what is this? Okay, I feel like also getting the, the freaking cat that like, you know, went through that trip. So someone's doing going through a trip and it's okay. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Someone could have a bad drugs trip, okay? This could be anything. This could be alcohol. This could be drugs. This could be marijuana. They had a bad trip or they did ha or they had a good trip, okay? And it's like they went back down the rabbit hole of, of something that they've healed from or that they thought they healed from, but like they were brought to heal from it again. All right. I don't know. What's the Queen of Pentacles? The Queen of Cups. Clarify the Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. The Emperor, okay. So you're definitely someone who's a hard worker here, the Emperor. But it's like, even when you're working, you start to getting your, okay, hmm, what is this? What's the Queen of Cups? So you could have just healed from something, Aquarius, with the Queen of Cups. And it's like, okay, I, you know, I really don't need these feelings anymore. Like you've detached from something. But it's almost as if it, it got boring to not think about this thing or this person anymore. Like, so you're going to think about them again. Like, it's like you've healed from something, but you're like, okay, let me go back to thinking about this person. What's the Queen of Cups? Or someone's doing this around you. Like, maybe you could have a friend around you that's always, like, talking about their ex or... And it's kind of like you're bored with the conversation here. What's the Queen of Cups? Yeah, the Page of Swords. King of Cups, okay. What's the Emperor? The Emperor is the devil, okay? Okay. <laughs> Okay, so someone sees this Aries or this Emperor as a devil, or they could be obsessing over this Aries or Emperor. Um, this could be you, Aquarius. Someone could also see their boss as evil. I don't know. Work bores you, and I also feel like your life is boring you right now. Like, maybe you just want something more energetic happening. But I also feel like you and someone else are ha have a heavy emotions for each other. It looks like the masculine figure, one of you guys is um, just being kind of more on a defensive energy. The other one of you guys kind of detached or are about to detach. But I also feel like something's going to hit you that's going to rip that band-aid back. So let's see what's the sun card. The sun card is the two of swords, okay? What else? Seven of swords, okay. Seven of Swords. Thank you. Knight of Cups and the King of Swords. Okay. Hmm. What? I don't understand. Okay. So this can go either ways. It's like someone, there's someone you want to talk to, but you're not going to talk to. That could actually work out better for you because this person has ill intentions anyway to, to date you, but they're still a sneak. They're still a liar. So it's better that you guys have just cut this off. We also have the King of Swords being here. So this is your energy. So you could also be, you could be lying about wanting to talk to someone or you want to talk to someone, but you, I don't know. You could also be talking to someone out of boredom. So it's like you're flirting with someone, the Knight of Cups with the Seven of Swords is, is really not like that. The problem is really the two of swords. You can't talk to who you really want to talk to right now. What's the what's the sun card? 
Yeah, the two of cups, the three of swords. You can't talk to who you really want to talk to. So you're like, I, I guess I'll just speak to this person, the knight of wands. What's the knight of wands? So someone could be doing this. Okay. I feel like this could come reverse for some Aquariuses. The person that you want to talk to, though, they're going to be coming in. I hope you know that. So it's like you're wait, you're, ooh, you're talking to someone now or you're speaking to someone like on a phone or you're just going to hang out with someone, but you rather be like with someone else. I feel like you're only doing this out of boredom right now. But this person that you've been on a separation with, they're the Knight of Wands, so they're coming in. The problem is they don't stay for too long or they could be very in and out with you, but it looks like the justice. So someone is coming to make things right with you, this person. You also have the Page of Wands. This is gonna happen sooner than you think, okay? Hmm. I feel like someone's thinking about you a lot. The Nine of Swords, they can't sleep at night. They think about you a lot, Aquarius. Okay, let's move on here. So maybe something that you healed from, you're gonna, be, you're gonna have to face this again, or you're not gonna have to. But the opportunity will be faced to, like, if do you want to do this again? Six of Swords in reverse, like a second chance. What's the Six of Swords in reverse for Aquarius? This is interesting, Aquarius. All right, so you have the Eight of Pentacles. So someone wants to work things out with you, but it's like you're holding back from this person as well. Clarify the Strength card. Okay, the Ace of Swords. You will have communication with this person, but I do see someone having a lot of grudges against this person. This could be you. Ace of Wands, but something is sparking up again, but somebody has a lot of grudges or they can't get over something that happened in the past or something that was said. I feel like whatever this is, it's spilled milk compared to the new beginning, but I know everybody doesn't see it that way, right? So you got everybody's feelings is valid. What's the Eight of Pentacles? The Ten of Pentacles. But I see if you guys work towards this, it will be like a, a long-term relationship. Like you and this person could possibly go the extra mile in a relationship as as far as commitment goes okay all right let's clean this up let's get your last words and we're gonna go to your homeboy home girl <laughs> i said somebody has a bad trip that's what it looked like but i still i still stand firm on that <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot okay 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 let's see sorry i'm trying to pick up this last card my nails there we go all right guys so let's get the last words for you aqua last words for aqua last words for aqua all right let's see what comes out aqua hold on okay there we go all right, what comes out for Aqua? Last words for Aqua in this situation. Last words for Aquarius in this situation, please. Oops. All right, there we go. Bottom says depression, but it was kind of in reverse. So maybe someone's coming out of depression or boredom. So I kept saying boredom, but it could have really been depression. Okay, but it looks like somebody's going to be coming out of that. All right, let's see what's going on here. We have cold hearted. You could come off as very cold right now, Aqua, or someone around you. Someone's doing this to you. We also have you make me angry. Okay, what else do we have here? Under the bed. Something is under the bed. Something is under the rug. Needs to be talked about. Needs to be brought up. Fall is here. Okay. So maybe you're dealing with the fall baby. I mean, it is fall season right now, but you could also be dealing with the fall baby as well. We also have toxic family here. We have no one compares to you, okay? We have blame game. We also have Capricorn the devil or devil energy, toxic energy, you know, obsession. We have Scorpio here. We also have you make me happy, okay? Okay. <laughs> We also have Pisces and we have I want a family with you. And I said that I feel like that Ten of Pentacles energy is the I want a family with you card anyway. OK. All right, guys. So let's get into your homeboy, homegirl. Let's see what's going on with them. So give me some messages, please, for Aqua's homeboy, homegirl for the next 48 hours. What's their energy? Give me some messages, please, for Aqua's homeboy, homegirl for the next 48 hours. What's their energy? 
Yeah, the Six of Swords. So this person could be asking you to heal things. They're coming towards you to heal things. But you, hmm. Ace of Pentacles. Well, okay, sorry. Seven of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Somebody wants to work on things with you, okay? And they want to offer you this Ace of Pentacles. They want to offer you the solid opportunity. We have the Temperance card. Could be a Sagittarius. We also have the Five of Pentacles. Could have been someone that um maybe you guys haven't y'all left each other out on the cold okay and things haven't been able to move forward but you guys also didn't forget about each other the eight of swords with the temperance all right so let's clarify these almost called you virgo okay so some of you guys are dealing with the virgo all right let's see let's see what's the eight of swords i mean sorry not the eight of swords the six of swords what's the six of swords please for my aquas homeboy and girl for the next 48 hours Okay, and it's not in reverse. So the Seven of Swords is in reverse. So something, hmm. Clarify the Seven of Swords in reverse. The Hermit. Sorry, the music is going in right now, is it not? Okay, we have the Hierophant in reverse and the King of Wands. So there definitely was here. Hmm. I feel like something was brought to someone's attention. Like it's out of the bag. It can't be hidden anymore. But that's going to allow for things to move forward. Or something is yet to be revealed. So some people, are, like someone avoided getting caught on something, Okay. So things are going to heal now. This could have, hmm. Like maybe two people can be getting back together. You had a judgment card because something, someone wasn't caught doing something. So, huh, it's weird. What's the hermit card, please? What's the hermit card? Hermit card is the temperance, okay? <laughs> it could definitely be a Virgo or a Sagittarius. Um... It seems like things are balanced now. So I don't know. This is kind of weird, guys. I've been getting like these weird messages today. But it's kind of like things are balanced now. Like, okay, like like karma. I don't know. I don't know. Like something's balanced now. So it's like it's not going to be revealed. You guys can move forward. Like someone did something to someone and someone did it back. That's the energy I'm getting. Okay, I just have to say. Okay, what's the, hmm, what's the, what's the seven of pentacles? The full card in reverse, okay? Now, even though something wasn't revealed, someone still doesn't trust somebody here. Somebody still doesn't trust it, someone. So someone still has to work hard for it. What's the Seven of Pentacles full card? The Tower, okay? Somebody has to work hard to build back because a lot was damaged even though something wasn't revealed. Okay, what else? The Ace of Swords, yeah. Okay. Okay, but moving forward, just because something wasn't revealed in the past, moving forward, it will be. So be careful, you know, whoever. Because this Ace of Swords, like, look at this. It's like the hawk. The hawk is always watching, or eye of a hawk. Hawk has a good eye, I think. Like, someone's always watching. So, and some think truth will be revealed. So, you know, like, I don't know. So, I feel like you can trust this because it's like, I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what to say about this one. Yeah, the Eight of Swords is here. Yeah, the next time that somebody does this or repeats this again, it will be found out, and you won't be able to escape that. The Eight of Swords. What else? The Ten of Swords, and this time it will hurt or it will end. Okay, so that's a warning. All right, what's Ace of Pentacles for your person? So it looks like somebody's being okay, and this is the duel that I see. <laughs> I've seen this duel in, I think even Virgos extended. I've seen this, so you can be dealing with the Virgo. I also seen it in Sagittarius. You can be dealing with the Sagittarius, but there's like a duel here, like the Two of Swords for this golden opportunity okay yeah i'm not lying guys i'm not lying <laughs> i'm sorry the five of wands like someone is literally about to like okay what's this, what is this fight about justice oh god so somebody wants what's owed to them somebody wants what's owed to them and they feel like this opportunity with you is owed to them aquarius so someone's fighting for this 
All right, what's the Ace of Pentacles? <laughs> what's the Ace of Pentacles? Your person is like not playing. I would not want to fight them. The Knight of Wands is here, okay? Say if I did Knight of Wands, like someone's ready. Someone's on go to win your heart over. The Magician, okay? Because this is what they manifested. Nobody's going to take what they manifested, the Judgment card. And they, they feel like you will forgive them. There will be a second chance. So someone's not take, letting their chance go because they want a second chance. So someone's not letting this one fall through. They refuse. They're going to take the victory. They refuse. This person doesn't want to stay in the cold anymore. Look look how cold it is out there. Somebody's like, no, I can't take this no more. I will have this victory. Victory will be mine. I will move forward with Aquarius. Okay. Wow. <laughs> the readings today have really just been super dramatic, but I'm not like hating guys. Like I love the drama, but I don't even feel like I'm dramatic today. I don't even feel like I'm really myself today. So I'm just like, okay, <laughs> okay. All right, let's get the last words for this person. I'm gonna take this to the extended reading guys, okay? All right, Spirit, give me some messages for Aqua's homeboy, homegirl. What's their last words, please? Last messages, last words. What do they have to say about this? What do they have to say about this, Spirit? Give me some cards. What's their last words? What do they have to say about this? Oh, okay, we'll go for it. That was a lot, okay? I didn't mean to do that. So the bottom says... Pentacle daddy slash pentacle mommy. Okay. <laughs> okay, could be doing the Capricorn Taurus Virgo. Pentacle daddy, pentacle mommy is someone who's very stable. So someone's like, I don't know. I'm not going to say that. I'm just going to have that facing up so we can talk about it in the extended reading. Okay. All right, we have Libra. Could be done with the Libra in here. We also have September Virgo or Libra. Could be done with the September Virgo or a Libra. And, um, something significant could have happened in September. We also have Aries here, okay? Could be dealing with the Aries. We have pushing you away, okay? We also have I love the way you dress, okay? Nice. What else? February Pisces slash Aquarius. You could be the Aquarius that's born in February. Could be done with the February Pisces. Something significant could have happened in February, struggling inside okay your person could be struggling inside over this you could be struggling inside we also have two independents okay that came out in virgo's reading we have insecure okay that also came out in virgo's reading we have you were in my dreams we have sexy hairstyle slash haircut so someone dresses good their hair always looks nice okay and we also have may taurus or gemini something significant could happen in may okay all right guys if this resonated for you please thumbs up the reading comment a moon down below for dream tarot subscribe to my channel for your next 48 coming out in a couple of days um if you guys want to follow my instagram shop my um store if you want to book a personal reading and if you want to follow me to the extended we're going to go deeper we're also going to get the outcome that all those links will be in the description box down below all right all right aquarius it's always been a pleasure um and i'll speak to you guys in the next one Bye bye <laughs>